Okay, this is a quick run, run through of the British Army Shortback Bergen, uh, which is suited to people up to about a maximum of six foot. Um, five foot seven is the recommended. Anything above six foot, you need to be going for the longback version. Um, the capacity is between 80 and 100 litres, depending on how you how you pack it. There is the uh, added option of the side pockets which can add extra capacity you can get some really big pockets there that, that zip in using the zips there on the straps and you've got them either side so depending on how much kit you've got you can uh, alter your pack accordingly uh, this doesn't come with the side pockets they're an additional extra and uh, like I say it's uh, between 80 and 100 litres you've got the two snap buckles on the front open up and you can see there you've got a huge extending piece there and then you've got all the the main part of the rucksack inside there's a little studded flap there where you can remove the metal supports you can take them in uh, take them out sorry or leave them in depending on how you prefer it and um, so that is just the main unit inside you've got the drawstring plastic with the toggle pushes in, flat comes over. Inside, you've got an internal zip inside the hood. A huge space there for waterproofs, maps, uh, rations, whatever. That comes over, clips down. Again, you've got a zip at the side for extra storage. And some of a survival bag in there. There's loads of room in there for again waterproofs. Uh, rations, water, maps, anything you want really. You've got a grab handle on the top, you've got extra loops on the top for adding extra bits on top, maybe a roll mat or something like that. Um, you've got a pocket at the front which can be used for a water bottle or such like. Again a good size pocket there. Uh, more loops, loops out of the side. You've got these loops stitched all the way down so you can clip all sorts of things in there. And on the back, the all important harness. Again, you've got a really good strong grab handle there. When it's fully packed, you need a good handle to be able to lift it easily in and out of a car or something like that. Adjustable straps, two heavily padded straps there. Adjustable, adjustable. Um, we've got more loops there which can, you can incorporate the uh, belt and webbing if you've got additional webbing and you've got the heavy duty snap buckle there and again side harness which clips in it's made with heavy duty Kajura material very strong very tough um, this is uh, an ex-army it has been used the guy's name is still in there. Um, it is dusty. It has been used. There's a few little, little tiny pit marks, little tiny holes. But as you would expect from a well-used piece of kit, there's bits of tar, little bits of tar paint on there. Um, but I mean, other than that, it's in good condition. All the zips work. Um, it's a great piece of kit, so if you're looking for a ex-army shortback Bergen, then uh, this could be for you. Hope that's been of use to you. Okay, thank you. Right, I'm just going to demonstrate how much these rucksacks can actually hold. Like I said, they're between 80 and 100 litres. They do hold quite a bit, as I will demonstrate. I'll show you what I've got inside here. Okay, how you come? Cool. Oh, you know. Arms up. There we go. No, I don't always keep them in there, do I? No. So there you go, they do all quite a bit. So there you go, that's how much you can keep in a uh, short back army burger. Hello. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm going to leave it at that. Oh.